My name is Naaman Ray Litt. Came to Cass in 1944 and graduated in 1948. Cass Tech gave me the opportunity to be involved in the electrical world and in a society of kids that came from all over the city. Being Jewish and having lived in a Jewish neighborhood, Dexter, Webb area, most of the contacts that I had were people that had a similar background. It helped me understand that regardless of what you look like, it's how you act. So the best thing about Cass Tech, aside from the educational opportunity, was the sociological development. The old building was a fascinating place with its seven and a half to eight stories. I can remember as a warrant officer in the ROTC marching the troops on the roof, which was an experience. One of the things I remember was that I took the streetcar to get here, and the streetcar ran on Linwood, and it was one of the huge streetcars that had a motorman and a conductor. And the streetcar came right to Henry, and I got off the streetcar there. So it was very convenient. Uh, hi, I'm Tom Brush, and I graduated from Cast Tech in 1952. Cast Tech had a good reputation. Most people went to uh, their neighborhood um, high school. So it was for students who were pretty serious students. Uh, people chose Cast Tech. And the reasons were it, that the uh, it offered a broad range of uh, curriculums. Um, even though it was a technical high school, it was a college preparatory school also. But you could go there and study nursing. You could go there as I w was in the chemical biological program. And you could study automobile mechanics. Just a very broad range of, of curriculums. I couldn't find my yearbook, but I found something called my door permit that was um, issued on uh, September 29th of 1949, and it uh, gave me permission to enter and leave the school at the times indicated on the back of the card. Well, we got together uh, at this uh, 50th reunion, and it was really quite remarkable. We were talking about how many um, of our classmates were minorities. At that time, African Americans were the minority in the school, but we came from all sorts of ethnic groups. I mean, there was... Greeks and Italians and many different uh, ethnic groups because many of us were um, uh, children of um, first-generation immigrants. And also we all thought, and we talked about it at the reunion, that when we went to, if you went to Cast Tech, you could do anything. You can go anywhere, do anything, because we thought that we were that good. A lot of pride in the school and, and, and in the student body and the and the uh, and the faculty. So I think it was more the attachment to the people than it was to the building itself. My name is Avella Watkins. I attended Cass Tech from 1962 to 1965. I took music classes. That was my curriculum. And I just remember the expertise and the quality of the teaching that was there, even in the academics. The teachers seemed to really care. I thought it was a very high-quality school. Even as a student, I could see that. I enjoyed so much the spaciousness of it all. It was just awesome. Very old, but uh, they had elevators there. There were eight stories. I sometimes, even now, I have dreams about going to Cass and, and running up and downstairs and riding the elevators. It saddens me a little bit to know that they're going to take the building down because of all of the memories there. But I know that with time comes change, so what they've got there is better because they've got more modern and up-to-date facilities. It just saddens me, but I know that it has to happen. They used to call it the pickle factory when I was there. I don't know how far back that goes, and I'm not sure why, because to the best of my knowledge, it never was a pickle factory, but that's what they called it, maybe because the colors were green and white. But I think that all things, you know, need to change and grow and develop, and the cast tech experience is something that isn't encompassed within four walls. It's more about the spirit of the school and about the students who make the decision to go to that school so they can push themselves a little harder and a little farther. And the network of teachers who support that kind of development. So yeah, the old building is gone. And am I a little sad? Sure, I'm a little sad. But I'm glad that the experience 
experience of CASTEC is preserved.